a certain monk, who lived a dedicated ascetic life under the Buddha, took his meditation instructions from the teacher. He then retired to an abandoned pleasure garden, sat himself under a tree, and began to engage in his meditation. Meanwhile a courtesan, plying her trade, asked a man to meet her in such and such to offer her services, not far from the pleasure garden. Now when the courtesan got to the place of her choosing, the man was nowhere to be found. She waited a while, looking here and there, expecting to meet her client any moment. But the man did not turn up. Frustrated, the woman walked away, and seeing the dilapidated pleasure garden, entered it. Once the courtesan was in the garden, it did not take long for her to see the meditating monk. And as she had time to kill, and nowhere to be at present, she decided it would be fun to play with the monk. With that thought, she looked in the direction of the monk, smiled, and walked provocatively, showing off her charms. She then proceeded to take off her undergarment and put it back on a couple of times, seemingly to drive home the message to the man sat under the tree. The monk, meanwhile, could not but observe the spectacle unfolding before him. And consequently, his entire body and mind was suffused with longing for the woman, meditating he was not at that moment. Now the Buddha, seeing through his psychic vision the predicament of the monk, decided to intervene. Even while being seated in his dwelling in the main monastery, the Buddha sent forth a radiant image of himself to where the monk and the woman was, and delivered a short sermon. The stanza the Buddha spoke pointed to the benefits of awakening to state of free from passion, and how to attain to such state. Hearing this brief stanza, the spiritually mature monk is said to have attained to the very final stage of realization.